Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero and welcome back to Life is Strange. Previously we went through some school drama, and now we're out on the town to visit our friend at a restaurant. Talk about going back in time. The no time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Maybe, maybe he's not joking. Uh, he's gonna show up in a later episode, and you remember me? I'm the millionaire now. Show up in some expensive car. Nathan's about to attack us. He just drives out of nowhere. And he's like, "Get in! I remember you, girl." Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Preach it. Ah, uh, friends are so typical, aren't they? Nope, I don't want to go there. Can I explore the parking lot? I swear I've seen you before. Mr. RV. Who drives an RV around town? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Stop that! Stop! No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. No, he likes dogs. It could be... Possibly wrong. Obviously nobody took my advice. Hey, man. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Only the export the left is assholes. Finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Exactly. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Everyone's so much friendlier in this area compared to school. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? 
Oh, I suppose it's an exciting town. I mean, people are constantly threatening my life. It's exciting in its own way. Awful way. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Hmm. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Has a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. So many walking stereotypes. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. Literally. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. A very friendly homeless person. There's a certain level of disconnect with this, at least, you know, just games in general, but specifically this scene of how I go to the restaurant, I'm supposed to get a table, but I wander off to go investigate things and wander into a back alley to talk to a homeless person. Now, there's nothing wrong with talking with a homeless person, but... Considering the areas I've lived in, I would not wander into a back alley and talk to a homeless person, if you know what I mean. Uh, usually a, a very bad choice. For your physical well-being, anyway. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. But I suppose, aside from crime of the elite, this town is probably pretty clean. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. And in contrast, I've lived in places like Bangkok and LA and uh, various parts of Florida. Pretty much urban centers, so it's a lot different feeling. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Did, did the game just do that? They just put... Oh, okay. Going that route. Oh, man. I bet Sorry to all the Canadians out there. When I was hey. here last. This guy has serious corners.
I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Ah, uh, city pride. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I aim to misbehave. That graffiti has been here forever. Along with the piss on the floor. Gross. If I walk with me, huh? I believe that was a name of a David Lynch movie, a sequel to or a prequel to Twin Peaks. I don't remember the full title, but I think it might have been such a such fire walk with me. Thank you, redneck poet. Dear friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. This is a pretty accurate dialogue about how cops feel about security guards. How well do you know Joyce? I know her and mall cops. Scrub. You like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Oh, so this is. And this is her choice of guys? Okay. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and. Nice uh, head model Justin, there. Because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Uh. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, 
I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. You people have a nice outlook on life. It's real... I mean, you're, you're stoned out of your mind, which is probably why you have a nice outlook on life, but still, it's comforting. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Man, I love exactly bacon. Exactly like Joyce. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. With all the talk of, uh, David's military life, maybe it'll happen later, but I'm surprised I haven't gone into any aspects of, uh, possible PTSD, aggression issues, and the prevalence of prescription meds within the veteran community. Which could be an effect for the way he acts. But right now he's just kind of like a asshole guy, stereotypes, so... Chloe understands, she just needs... time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair... <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. 
I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. This is mm, kind of useless. I shouldn't bring that up. This one. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelette. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. But it is quite a common sight, especially if you go around the VAs like I have as many times as I have that uh, a lot of young guys, especially veterans from the current various wars we've done and pretty much almost all of them are on some form of meds and if you actually talk to them, some of them will admit they need to take these meds or as one put it, he's gonna kill his wife he doesn't take these meds and he also has a uh, some of them also have the What they call that? The dogs that help calm someone and keep their emotions in check. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Some are also wounded. David isn't, as far as we know anyway, but uh, painkiller meds can definitely affect your psyche. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Damn, these are good prices. What, what kind of dive is this? The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your but then it wouldn't be here. a moment. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. I still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh... Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together speak again. of the devil, and he's so and Chloe clear. Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Damn. It's harsh. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? I'm really warming up to this family. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. Look slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. All right. You have keys, because you had to have driven here. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I, I know, if you look at like the necklace, it's like bullet keychain. Everything I think is a skull. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. What's it, a skull?
That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Time to go. Okay, Max. Study oh, he didn't give me the right answers. And don't forget anything. Panda. Cigarettes. Coins. You're gonna ask me the exact coinage, aren't you? Warning ticket. Out of. Do not park in this area again. Three quarters of an echo. Uh, let's zoom on back. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I should have paid attention to that. Seven cigarettes. The superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <sighs> Three quarters. And nickel. It's at least 80 cents. 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh. Way too... Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. It was Not a very bad, nice choice, by the nice. way. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time? Now I this watching? I did not pay attention to at all. Eleven ten a.m. That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show. A parking. You know me well. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Your car. Duh! Wait. A Not. You do. I'm for. Yes. A super. Amazing. Hmm. Clearly. Eighty-six. That's right. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Mm-hmm. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. She walks around the corner, Oops. spills Did the coffee in his leg. Cup? Really? No, no, he spills the coffee. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Hot smokers, the high is wearing off, they start fighting. Cop takes off. Canadian goes to the bathroom. Music switches over. Jams out. I think Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next?
The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Let's see, Justin Trevor fight. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. I didn't see any bugs actually land on it. I wasn't paying that close of attention. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. That was probably a wrong one. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Cockroach. I'm going to predict. The so. This is getting the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything. This time we get a cutscene, so we know it's the right one. Aside from the fact it's obviously the right one. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Ugh. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Huh? X, Y, Z. Huh. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stuck. Okay, Supergirl. Winter. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Yeah, it's from Kate I should answer. Hey Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Kate's going for some serious shit right now. I think you should chill out, Chloe. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. 
I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. No, I'm, I'm fine with this. So it's barely a barely a ten second call. I'm gonna click for these. Feel free to pause and uh, go through and read it if you obviously haven't played the game. to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Would suck if there's a limited power. Douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. American pastime. Now go All find right. us five bottles, hey, hey, hey. please. Gonna find the beer bottles. <laughs> Can't find the beer bottles. <laughs> I seriously can't find the beer bottles. Like, really. I really can't find the beer bottles. Hey, 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 there's one right there. Wait, no, I'm seeing shit. Okay, still can't find the beer bottles. Hey, hey, hey. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Oh, no camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Rip. This is the scariest thing here. Oh yeah, old shirt. Scariest thing here. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. There's a bottle. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. It's one wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Maybe it is the same one. That no. dough is the perfect photo op. It's hard to believe that was once on the road. 
filled with dozens of students. A dose student nearby? Yeah. This was an old school punk shirt. Sneak up on it. Take the picture of the spiritual beast. It's partially transparent. Kind of sit and muse. So quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Beer bottles, beer bottles. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Beer model? Squirrel? Tracks. I don't want to go that way. Don't want to go that way. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Your mono. Boom. Only three bottles left. Shit. Sorry, Warren. You're a nice guy and all, but you kind of tried too hard. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. Nope, I don't want to go there. Nope, I don't want to go there. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? N no, actually, uh... This is usually an artsy, common... This looks like a photography thing. museum for Chloe and Rachel. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. God, this is a cool place. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. This will have consequences. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. <sighs> Lot of strings. Three bottles. Two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Ouch. Huh. 
Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Syringes. Ew. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Reminds me of playing as a kid and finding old syringes like that. Didn't quite get the connotations back then. Thanks for uh, helping me look for this stuff. Those shells look fresh. The Bigfoots were here. Heavier than I thought. Ugh. All right. All this for a silly bottle. One more bottle to go. Kate. I'm glad things worked out. I think that was the best decision. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. Life doesn't work like a detective story. You can't actually it just actually go around looking like for evidence Chloe yourself. Again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. Alright, let's go grab the last bottle that's gonna be somewhere in the sub area. I imagine. Tunnel visioned. Don't break. Stupid Damn. Bottle. Well, we got four, that's good enough, right? I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God, or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just... Altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Let's go rewind time and get this bottle back. Do this. Take the bottle. Cool. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. 